तव कथात तप्त जीवन कविरीड़ कलमशापहम श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदातत भुवि गृणंती भूरीदा जना टुडे वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लाइफ ऑफ स्वामी अभेदानंद जी टुडे इज द ऑस्पिशियस डे ऑफ इज जयंती दट इज बर्थडे ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन सेकेंड ऑक्टोबर एटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स इन दी नॉर्थ कैलकटा दिस चाइल्ड वॉज बॉर्न टू नयन तारा देवी एंड रसिकलाल चंद्रा चंद्रा इज द टाइटल एंड काली प्रसाद इज द नेम सो दिस बॉय दिस कपल हेड गॉट बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ मदर काली his mother nayantara devi had prayed because earlier children had died because of some or the other reason and she had prayed that she should get a son who will live long so by the mother kali's grace the prasada so kali prasad was the name given to our future swami abhedanand maharaj now his childhood and then studies started his father was an english teacher in a very famous well known school where many uh, well known people studied under him his father acted as a guide to kali prasad in the studies so very studious boy very good in art very good in studies memory and the medha shakti is uh, very powerful in later days we will see the comments from the great people about his medha shakti so he is he was a drawing master who was teaching him the drawing was very much fascinated by his drawing skills and he requested our kali prasad maharaj to do to make a career in the drawing but then one day he told very bluntly to the drawing master that sir i had decided to become philosopher so now and now on i will not be coming to the drawing class so anyway it was a disappointment for the master but he has chosen a life for himself as a philosopher and his uh, search towards the truth now kali prasad started reading the books scriptures hindu scriptures different religion script- scriptures which are telling about the truth reality so he at the at the most the age is 13 14 year old he asked his father his father had a bhagavad gita copy and he asked i also want to read this then the father said you are just 14 year old you will not understand and he had not given but one day in the dead of the night hidingly he had taken the bhagavad gita copy and started reading it that is how in the secretly he started uh, reading the bhagavad gita and started mastering it later on we know that he used to meditate on the verses of the gita the kali prasad has a desire to learn yoga sutras patanjali yoga sutras thoroughly and he used to visit or he used to hear the lectures from shashadhar tark chudamani the great philosopher and the vedantist he used to give lectures so that the hindus those days the educated hindus were getting attracted towards the christian religion to give a kind of counter the philosophers of our hindu religion also used to conduct the classes and uh, telling the in uh, shashadhar tark chudamani used to scientifically uh, put the points of vedanta in front of the audience 
that is how those days everything should be scientific and uh, in uh, shri ramakrishna samudra this gospel of shri ramakrishna we come to know you you are english educated that means i have to talk to you in logically only that's what shri ramakrishna also had understood this english educated people has to be uh, very uh, they will not be win over easily we have to argue with them and win over the arguments then only they will accept so this tarka chuda mani shashadar tarka chuda chuda mani ji trying to uh, promote or propagate the ideas of vedanta ideas of sanatana dharma scientifically then he approached our kali prasad maharaj approached shashadar tarka chuda mani for yoga sutra studies then he said i have no time but i will give the address of kali bar vedanta vagish and then he went there he was actually this kali bar vedanta vagish also is a great scholar then he said you see i am busy in writing the patanjali yoga sutra translation from sanskrit to bengali i have no time but he came twice thrice no sir please find out some time then he said one time is there where before bath i put oil to my body when person comes during that time i am free that may be some half an hour or 15 20 minutes and the kali came to that specific time every morning and this vedanta pandit kali bar vedanta vagish taught our kali prasad maharaj the yoga sutras but his uh, thirst for the knowledge thirst for the experience so many books so many scriptures are learned but that is not the experience he wanted to know more and more so he came he came to know about shri ram krishna from one of his friend then he thought of coming to shri ram krishna regarding to learn yoga only one day he started from the calcutta on foot walking and walking dakshineshwar is far off so it took nearly 3 hours for him on foot to come to dakshineshwar from calcutta he had no money of course when he came it is around 11 o'clock came to know that shri ram krishna has left for calcutta in the morning this is the first visit master is not there very much disappointed then he saw one more young man has come then they both met each other and this young man was nothing nobody else than shashi maharaj and shashi maharaj and they both talked to each other then took bath then took some prasad rested for a while talked all spiritual uh, matters and different scriptures etc and uh, shashi maharaj told him motivated him to stay longer because he did not inform he said i have not informed my parents i have to go home otherwise they will be searching then shashi maharaj said i also have not informed my parents i also have come now master is coming master will come at 9 o'clock in the night so after 9 o'clock we cannot go home and shashi maharaj said why you are worrying about going home you can stay here we can stay here maybe shashi maharaj is maybe second or third visit so he was acquainted with the place so he said nothing to worry you stay here master will receive you cordially at 9 o'clock shri ram krishna came in a carriage and kali 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 he uttered got down from the carriage and kali prasad maharaj bowed down to shri ram krishna gave the introduction then shri ram krishna said better you stay here today and tomorrow we will meet and discuss in the <laughs> that night also he asked our kali prasad maharaj sir will you teach me yoga at 9 9:30 shri ram krishna came after long this thing sir will you teach me yoga yes yes i will teach you tomorrow morning we will talk so like that 
the arrangement for their staying and food etc was done he could not sleep kali prasad mar could not get sleep at 2:30 3 o'clock in the morning he got up went to shriram krishna's room shriram krishna was awake <laughs> as usual awake and meditating or taking the name of the lord then he went sir will you teach me yoga in the morning 4 o'clock yes is come then he took kali prasad to the northern veranda where he had taken swami vivekananda also when he went first and given the initiation written the mantra on his tongue and asked him to meditate on mother kali so he was meditating he lost the outer consciousness then after some time shriram krishna again went to him they then touched the chest and brought down his normal consciousness this is uh, over then kali prasad mara said i have to go home they must be waiting for me worrying my mother must be worrying for me etc shri ram krishna as usual says come again you were a yogi in your previous birth and that is why you are so much of fond of yoga in such a young age when you are in search of the yoga the little is remaining and this is your last birth this birth is a last birth and i will teach you yoga so uh, with this message he went to uh, calcutta but his mind was in the dakshineshwar now he has gone then there his parents were searching everywhere searching mother was weeping then uh, somehow she remembered that kali prasad had referred the ramakrishna paramahansa of dakshineshwar as a great saint i have heard from my friend like that he had uh, she had remembered that kali has told like this once maybe he has gone there thinking this she told this to her husband and then rasiklal chandra came to dakshineshwar met shri ram krishna and uh, asked about him shri ram krishna said just now he has left don't worry about him then rasiklal became bit pleased he said okay but you please tell whenever kali comes next you please tell him to marry we want him to marry because those days marriages were done in the childhood 14 years old he was just 14 15 you ask him to marry and shri ram krishna became bit serious he said to rasiklal you see your son is a great yogi since he does not want to get married why are you insisting and what good is going to happen after his marriage so that was the, some kind of message to rasiklal from shri ram krishna and rasiklal went away at least he got his son back home here kali prasad has got the mantra he started the sadhana as per the instructions from guru and different uh, visions he started getting many visions of gods and goddesses one day when he came to shri ram krishna shri ram krishna inquired about these things how your meditation is going on are you progressing what do you are, how are you feeling etc then kali maharaj narrates one of the incident or vision to shri ram krishna he says i am seeing i have seen the gods and goddesses one one side all the goddesses are there and one side all the gods are there whichever whichever gods i have seen in my life all i have seen in this vision and in the center i have seen you sitting there 
Shri Ramakrishna heard this and smilingly he says, You have got a vision of Vaikuntha. In Vaikuntha, all the gods and goddesses will be there and Narayana will be sitting in the central place. Now, after this vision, you will not have any vision of the in forms. You will be getting the knowledge of formless reality. With form visions, you will not be getting. That's what. And then, every uh, session, Guru Maharaj was teaching Kali Prasad, different methods and slowly he started as uh, in the life of uh, Kali Prasad Maharaj, we see that the narration what we get in the gospel wherever the Kali Prasad Maharaj is available all that he has narrated in his autobiography Sri Ramakrishna says that Haribol, Haribol we must chant the devotees must chant loudly the name of the Lord and by not only chanting the name, you should clap the hands. Both the hands you should clap loudly. He says the way the birds fly from the tree when you loudly clap the hands, in the same way, the past sins, the sins are accumulated sins, they go away. When you clap the hands, and utter the name of the Lord. This was the uh, kind of medicine, prescription medicine by Sri Ramakrishna to all the devotees through the gospel of Sri Ramakrishna. We see, we ourselves, we see the effect if we do it sincerely and, and uh, for the devotion of the Lord. Sri Ramakrishna taught him japa, meditation, how to do it. He says, every morning and evening, you must do meditation. Our Totapuri, my Guru Totapuri used to say, Sri Ramakrishna says, narrates, that as a brass vessel needs cleaning every day, our mind also needs the cleansing every day, morning and evening. Otherwise, it will accumulate the impurities of the world. So, like this, Kali Prasad Maharaj comes to Dakshineshwar, spends some time, goes to Shram, goes to Calcutta with Sri Ramakrishna's, there is a party. Four or five people will go to Calcutta in some devotee's house. There will be some kind of bhajans, satsang is organized. And the party of four and five may go in carriage, a horse carriage or may go in boat. So, in uh, one day, while returning from the Calcutta, around one o'clock or something, they have some, uh, they did not have food in the, uh, this thing uh, from the morning onwards. Some, some uh, incident is there. And uh, in the boat, this uh, Golapma, Kali Prasad Maharaj, Someone more young uh, devotee and Guru Maharaj is there. They are coming to Dakshineshwar from the Calcutta. Now Sri Ramakrishna says to Golapma, I am very hungry, I want to eat something. Then the boat is stopped, Golapma gives some two or three anas. Kali Maharaj goes, purchases some sweet and hands it over to Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna started eating everything. Everything eats and finishes and washes his hands, throws that packet in the Ganges, washes, drinks the water from the Ganges itself. All these three people, <laughs> he has not asked. After a few moments, the way they are seeing Sri Ramakrishna's face, they uh, they feel or they experience that their hunger has gone. Then only Kali Maharaj understood 
that this is not an ordinary saint <laughs> this is something just to give an experience that my eating is an eating of the whole world my satisfaction is the satisfaction of the whole world i am the narayana himself after that uh, uh, during this vision of vaikuntha and seeing this experiences afterwards uh, swami abhedananda ji maharaj has written many sanskrit hymns he was a great scholar sanskrit scholar uh, stuti for shri ram krishna holy mother what we are singing in the arti also prakrutim bramam he he has written that so many hymns he has written uh, out of his experience that is why uh, we feel happy when we sing those hymns so here shri ram krishna was not feeling well he got throat cancer all the devotees are unhappy worried and they brought him to first to shampopur and then to kashipur in the kashipur kali prasad used to serve four hours used to bathe master daily so these things uh, going on well uh, ochre ropes and the rosaries were distributed to 12 disciples of shri ram krishna which was given by the bodo gopal a swami advaita ananda maharaj he wanted to give it wanted to give it to distribute to the monks and as we all know shri ram krishna said who will be the better receiver than these young boys so he called all these young boys including our kali prasad maharaj and given the so he himself has given a sanyasa to kali prasad maharaj he was very much a studious kind of philosopher he has decided earlier itself so he used to study always eastern philosophy then western philosophy some or the other scripture japa meditation ways so a kind of great austere sadhu kali prasad maharaj not mingling not uh, coming down from that plane of the shastras whatever is taught in the shastras studying and uh, kind of contemplating on that so master sadhis in kashipur and said to him you see those who want to be the teacher of the world they have to learn this way they only have to read so many things so if you want to kill yourself guru maharaj says then one needle is enough but if you want to kill others then you need all swords and shields etc so the means in future when he goes to america this guru maharaj must be knowing that he has to teach the people he will be the great jagat guru and he is preparing for that so he encouraged kali prasad maharaj that yes it is good to know all the scriptures one of the incident in the uh, during the kashipur days of mahashivratri of 1886 narendra nath datta they were friends all narendra nath datta kali prasad all 12 15 people young boys serving master all doing tapasya sadhana everybody is progressing so narendra wanted to test his progress one day in the mahashivratri he said abhedananda ji that you i will touch you and then you explain me during that touch how did you feel and the mahashivratri day first prahara they both were sitting near each other went into meditation during the meditation swami vivekananda touched 
काली प्रसाद महाराज एंड काली प्रसाद महाराज वॉज शिवरिंग देन ही रिमूव्ड हिज हैंड ही बिकेम नॉर्मल देन ही सेड व्हाट इज दैट यू आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग एज इफ सम कलर करंट इज पासिंग थ्रू युअर हैंड इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक so it is spirituality or the ideas or the thought process which got transferred to kali prasad maharaj from narendra nath dat this master came to know in the second prahara the way thing happened kali prasad maharaj again started meditating and he did not come down from the meditation all became worried It's not coming down, not opening the eyes. All went to Sri Ram Krishna. Then Sri Ram Krishna said, "Don't worry." And he scolded Swami Vivekananda. Sri Ram Krishna said to Narendra Nath, "What have you done to Kali? First, you accumulate some power. Before accumulating itself, you want to spend the power. Like that, in the same <laughs> uh, this thing." He scolded Narendra Nath, "Don't do it again. Everybody has a different way of progress, a different way of uh, way of uh, reaching the goal, and you have disturbed the way of Kali. Anyway, not much harm is done to the Kali, but this should not be done." this is there in the biography so afterwards we in swami vivekananda's life the incident comes when he gives a talk in the us he mentions it in the biography in the biography it comes that i have seen when i was lecturing uh, the people in front the audience has become like a clay and they are able to i am able to mold them the day, way i want i got that much of power when i see and i am seen i stopped my lecture and came out otherwise they will get the uh, they will not be progressing in their own path in their own manner or uh, degree you can say he followed it the shram the here i just wanted to mention he followed the instructions of the master and even the when the time has come so here uh, in again kashipur this uh, renunciation the thought of renunciation was very strong in the young minds and they wanted to go to the gaya where बुद्ध अटेंड द निर्वाणा दिस तारकदा स्वामी शिवानंद महाराज गेव दी मनी ही ऑल्सो अकंपनीड देम देन फ्रॉम काशीपुर विदाउट टेलिंग द मास्टर बिकॉज हाउ टू टेल एंड गो विदाउट टेलिंग द मास्टर दे जस्ट रैन फ्रॉम द काशीपुर टू बोध गया नरेंद्र काली महाराज and tarakda there they meditated they had visions experience that all comes in the biography so then the kali was uh, as a philosopher he started arguing whether the god exists whether the bliss of the world and the bliss of the uh, brahman is the same so the master once tells kali what do you think can the bliss of the brahman be the same as the worldly pleasures and tells never think that any comparison can be done or can be made for the bliss or the immortal bliss which you get after meditating on the brahman now kali maharaj was again interested in the hatha yoga he had heard some devotee had come and he had told vijay krishna goswami that there is a hatha yogi in barabara hills 
that is in the gaya near gaya barabara hills are there and there is a, in caves one hatha yogi stays so he and gone there without telling master again to learn somehow by guru maharaj grace he finds and he found out that the hatha yogi does not have much knowledge some breathing techniques he knows and he cannot teach him he had already knew all those things but how to get out of it because that hatha yogi is a very strong person having many disciples did not want to uh, leave this kali maharaj also somehow he escapes with the uh, request of getting water from the river and then he ra- runs from there and comes to village and then comes to calcutta and narrates the whole story to shri ram krishna the greatness of shri ram krishna is silently he listens this and smiles and just all right it is good so every the truth has to be if you have any urge in your mind experience it and no anger or no this thing was there in the mind of shri ram krishna that again and again this disciple of mine is going here and there but finally shri ram krishna said don't go here and there this is the place for you you have come to the last place there is nothing more than this place anywhere else so then after the mahasamadhi of the master kali maharaj and other few devotees went on pilgrimage with holy mother here baranagar monastery started with the help of surendranath mitra one of the devotee of the master then after coming from the pilgrimage kali joined the monastery again started his tapas swadhyaya and japa meditation severe to lie down and meditate so lying down and meditate was his habit meditation means the deep meditation somebody the shwasa will be very less very very less breathing somebody will may see and feel that he is a dead person once narendra nath our swami vekananda's brother came to monastery and found in uh, found the kali in that state and told he is dead five pulse is not there no no then the yogananda swami says yogen maharaj no no this <laughs> he meditates like that so this way meditation and tapasya that is why his name was in baranagar kali tapasvi one room was given in alambar alambazar Mon- uh, uh, monastery and the room was given to him that room name it's a kali tapasvi's room he had one uh, kind of uh, this thing that swami vivekananda also was a great philosopher and uh, very knowledgeable uh, friend of mine narendra i should defeat narendra in argument once at least that was his desire then one day it happened so that uh, he was about to defeat narendra nath in the argument but narendra nath said you see today we will stop here because it is aarti time now we will go with for the prayers next day we will start again next day when they started again swami vivekananda had thought of the new arguments and swami vivekananda next day defeated kali prasad maharaj our adbhutanand ji latu maharaj he was there nearby hearing all this then uh, kali prasad maharaj lamented to latu maharaj i wanted to defeat him at least once i am not able to defeat him then the latu maharaj says brother how it is possible that you are thinking like this you how you will defeat narendra he is our leader leader cannot be defeated <laughs> so then love between them 
surpasses all their arguments and uh, this thing so all the brothers took the monastic vows as per the scripture kali maharaj had brought the virja homa mantra when he had gone to barabara hills he had uh, met some swamis some sanyasins and requested him to show the virja homa mantras so that time uh, he had written it down and with those the very everybody became happy in the baranagar monastery that because the virja homa mantras are the uh, main thing and he ha- he had brought it and with those mantras they had taken sanyasa narendra nath gave the name swami abhedananda to kali prasad after the sanyasa he went on pilgrimage on foot many holy places from north to south and east to west here swami vivekananda had gone to west us parliament of religions then started his work in the west and requested swami abhedananda to come for his help in the work in london so with the permission and with the this thing from the brothers abhedananda ji reached london in september 1896 first speech he gave unexpectedly swami vivekananda came one day and told him you have to speak in the evening to the society i have already committed that you will be speaking i have a brother who is a vedantist tapasvi he will be speaking today evening to you the christo theosophical society all learned people in the london white scholars so there he said how i will give i am not you have not told me earlier at least you should have given me notice little bit no no you speak i have already told then he had given a lecture hearing that lecture swami vivekananda remarked first lecture even if i perish swami ji says even if i perish my message will be preached by these lips of abhedananda and the world will hear it Swami Vivekananda started the work in India and then called back Sarada Ananda Ji Maharaj whom he had invited to US for the work called back to India from America and told Abhida Ananda Ji to take care of the work in US United States after some time Swami Abhida Ananda Ji Maharaj comes to India in 1906 in chennai he comes here in 1906 there on then uh, that time only swami ramakrishna anand ji maharaj had got a small piece of land here here we see shashi maharaj mandapam near that the place is there they put a foundation of a small two room uh, house ramakrishna home and then in our mint 1906 there is a record that swami abhedananda ji had given a lecture in the mint area national school that time was started by swami ramakrishna anand ji maharaj shashi maharaj and swami swami abhedananda ji had given a lecture on uh, the women education in india something like that he had prophesied that this school which started as a primary school will become a university in course of time women university women hindu university something like that here there is a record 1907 to 1921 long period he returned back and started his work stayed in united states gave lectures traveled all throughout united states created different societies vedanta societies in different places gave talks 
not much facility was available it was a very powerful orator that is how swami vivekananda can give such a comment powerful orator the record is there his audience used to be in thousands so very frequently he had to change the place especially about the raja yoga and gnana yoga he used to speak he has written a book of reincarnation when he was in the united states and that book got so much of popularity because there is no concept of reincarnation in christianity so christian people were very much uh, curious about what it is and thousands came for the guidance from swami abhedananda ji maharaj came back to india and started ramakrishna vedanta society in calcutta when he came to india a lot of luggage was he had lot of books lot of things with him and he had the idea that uh, instead of belur math we have to have a place in the heart of the city in calcutta so he rented a house and started ramakrishna vedanta so at that time our shivananda ji maharaj was the president he said happily yes you can start one center so this is the earlier days on the occasion of centenary of shri ram krishna swami abhedananda ji maharaj spoke on the all india radio and his speech was broadcasted this is a 5 minute bengali talk which is still available it is only talk only speech uh, available by direct disciple so in 1938 he was ill after a lot of uh, hard work in united states and after coming to india also he never stopped working giving lectures on vedanta everywhere wherever the people are calling there was a temple consecration in 1938 in spite of the severe illness he attended the temple consecration and became very peaceful that the shri ram krishna is now got a place he also tried to make a temple afterwards it it has been done in the his own ram krishna uh, ram krishna vedanta society in calcutta so on 8th september 1939 he passed away in mahasamadhi his last wish was that he should get cremated his body should get cremated near the creme- uh, masters cremation this kashipur cremation ground where shri ram krishna physical body got cremated that was his last wish his disciples followed it towards the end of the life he told his disciples the message is tapasya or austerity enhances the will power have self confidence have faith in yourself think i am a child of immortal bliss the infinite power is playing within me if you have this conviction you will conquer the world inside and outside this was his message to his followers and disciples may bhagwan shri ram krishna holy mother swami ji and swami abhedananda ji maharaj bless us all for the and give us the strength to lead the path of spiritual life om shanti 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 hari hi om tat sat श्रीरामकृष्णापणमस्तू